Hello friend, welcome back. That is one of the update videos. Some of the students asked me about one of the issues. So now in this video, I will solve this issue. Okay, so what actually that issue? So that is very much interactive one of the things. Like if you are uh, logging, so right now I'm logging to our project. So right now here we successfully logged in, right? But here if you go to that uh, any other menu, like here I right now I go to that our your profile menu. So that is your profile menu, right? And also after that, if you want to go to that change password, so that is our another one. So after that, if you click as a log out, so when you click as a log out, and after that, if you click as a go back button, you can see you can actually be able to view this page. But here, if you click as a enter, that means if you refresh this page, then that is actually redacted to you the logging page right so now that should be not like that way so that is actually one of the browser cache like if you i want to show you again like it is a sign in so you can see after the sign in you can actually access this view page and right now if you go to again um that is a manage user into the manage user if you go to that view user so that is our view user right so right now i'm logging so for the reasons it should be okay that means for when you're logging then this logging user can able to access this space but if you click as a logout so after that logout if you go to that go back button and you can see you can able to you access this user dot view so here that is one of the browser cache so here we can actually uh, prevent it by the middleware okay so here but he, as i told you if you click as a enter so right now i'm already logged out for the reasons here you can see you cannot able to access this logging so here only we have to do we have to prevent our this browser cache data so if you want to do that work in laravel that have also one of the solution i show you like here that is one of the blog post so this blog post i want to actually use so that is very much easy one of the process so now in this video step by step i will show you that things with a live example for doing this like there is a laravel prevent browser back button after logout right so that is the issue now i want to solve and here first of all we have to do we have to create one of the middleware you can see there is a step by step process very easy process i show you like there is a create new middleware so now i'm going to create one of the new middleware that if you want to create that middleware in fundamental i have already discussed about that things with you so there is a php artisan make middleware and then i want to create one of the middleware as a prevent back history whatever the name you choose so right now i want to uh, use the same name so i copy it and now that is our project here i open that cmd and now I want to create one of the middleware as a PHP artisan make middleware and the prevent back history. Now click as the enter. Now you can see our middleware created successfully. So now if you go to our project directory, into the project directory that is our app and that is a HTTP and then the middleware, right? So into the middleware area, I have created one of the middleware as a prevent back history dot PHP. So now first of all, here we have to do, we have to change something in our this uh, method. So that is one of the handle method. If you go, uh, like that is a middleware, you can see that is a mean to the middleware configuration, open that um, prevent back history dot PHP file. And then into the folder area also it's giving that instruction where exactly that folder. And then into this area, we have to do, we have to update our, at uh, this portion, that means this one, okay? So here, I want to do and to update our this handle. That means better I want to do, I want to create, um, copy everything okay i select it i want to copy total class i copy total class i copy it and now in our here here i want to do and to paste it okay i simply paste it so here i simply updated our this method as a function method as a handle and here you can see that is actually the response header there is a cache control no cache no store okay so that is one of the things we have to add okay so that is our header into the header area it will be reduced that our non-cache so make that sure you update this uh, method okay so i simply update it and now what exactly the next step we have to do we have to register this middleware whatever the middleware i have created now we have to register it and we have to register this middleware into this kernel.php right friend I, in fundamental i have already discussed about that things with you how can create some of the middleware and after that create that middleware we have to add this middleware that means we have to register this middleware in our kernel.php 
So into the kernel.php here you can see there is a protected route middleware into the protected route middleware area we here we have to add this. So now let's do that work for doing this uh, that is our middleware into the middleware that is our kernel right. So now I open that kernel and into the kernel area here you can see that is a like route middleware. So into the route middleware area that is a protected route middleware here we have to do we have to add it. So now I want to do I want to better copy it. Okay, so I just simply copy that things from here. So I copy this class. I simply copy it. Okay, okay, it's actually getting everything. So better I want to do and to select it and to select it, and that is actually our middleware name. I copy it, and now in our there is a route middleware. So into the route middleware. So that is our route middleware. After this. After this, I simply paste it, and here I name it our this um, middleware name as a prevent back history. Okay, whatever the name you usually choose. Right now, I'm actually using this one. So now with this middleware, I want to protect our all the routes. That means if you want to protect this route, then we have to do. We have to go to our web. That means into the route, into the route. That is our web.php, right? So here I have actually created all the our routes. So right now I want to do, I want to protect all that our, this route. So here they have the so many routes. So now I want to do, I want to protect everyone. Okay, that means everything. So if you want to protect it, there are another action, um, instruction, they add this middleware into the route. Okay, so right now I simply uh, copy it. So I simply copy everything. I simply copy everything and now go to our web route and here first of all I paste it. Okay, so here we don't need this auth resource. I remove it and here that is our all the route. That means I have already created all that our route, right? So right now also we don't need this. I simply remove it and then that is our last part. So I cut this last part. So that means it should be one of the route as a group route as a middleware and that is the middleware name, right? So into the kernel here, I have registered that middleware as a prevent back history. So that is actually our prevent back history. And that is our function. And now I want to do, I want to close this function. So I cut it from here. And after this, okay, so that is our last one. And after this, I paste it. And then better I put some of the note for you. That is prevent, prevent back middleware. Okay, that is a prevent back middleware. So I simply end it on particular that area. So it should be started. So it should be started from here. And I just simply end it. Okay, friend. So that's all you have to do. So now let's check this out. If you now click as a save all. I click as a save all and now go to our project. So right now I refresh it again. Now if you sign in. So right now I'm uh, using that user view. So better I want to do, I want to actually um, run our server again. I close it and here I run this server with the PHP addition serve, right? So now I close it and I want to run this server again. Now click as a CMD and PHP artisan serve. Okay, I want to run this server again. So that is our server link. I copy it. So right now I totally remove it and then I open it. So now it should be work perfectly. I click as a sign in. And now I want to use as a user, that means a view user. So that is our view user page. I want to use that as a setup management, as a class, a student class, right? So that is a two page I have browsed. So now let's check this out. If you now click as a uh, log out. So before when you click as a back button, then that is actually our previous page is visible. But right now, if you click as a again the back button, yes, you can see you cannot access our previous page without logging. If you click as again, yes, you cannot able to access it. I hope friend it's very much clear to you. So that is the simple process we have to do. So with this MIDI layer, you can actually protect it. Okay. So thanks for watching. I'll see you in the next video.